Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dredge. My call sign is November 9. We just finished up here in the uh, Twisted Strand. We got a necklace to return to the collector. Um, but before we do that, I want to go snag that crab pot that you can see on the map there over on the other side of the Marrows and drop that in the Stellar Basin because we've got a, a, a crab here or a spiny lobster, pardon me, that we haven't caught yet. Also, whatever that fish is, near the Gale Cliffs at night, got to go catch that thing. Uh, and there's another night, Oceanic, a manta ray of some sort. Um, more stuff from the Gale Cliffs, so we really need to go back there. But I want to kind of set it and forget it in regards to... Um, this guy right here, number 39, Stellar Basin, Day Night, Lobster Pot. So let's uh, cut loose of the dock here, and we're going to uh, manifest. All right. And then having done that, we will head for our lobster trap. Sorry, that's just what I call it. I know it's not necessarily a lobster trap. It should be right around here somewhere. Um, there it is. Oh, I dropped it near the swordfish. Alright, look at all those shrimp. Alright, what did we get? Trapped by these walls. Catch 100 crabs and crab pots. Alright, so we did that. Let's make haste over to the Stellar Basin, get this pot fixed and drop it in the water. And then we'll come back later and find the spiny lobster there. We're just going to manifest back after we repair it and drop it. And uh, go turn in the necklace to the collector. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying Dredge. I'm enjoying bringing it to you. I think it is a very fun game. Clearly, it would be nicer if it was a little more longer, a little more involved. But that's not this kind of game. It's not a AAA game. It's not uh, an expensive $60 game. I think I paid, you know, like what, $26 for the version where you get the key and the extra stuff. Like the... Um, <clears throat> Like A, the Peculiar Engine, and B, the Sign of Ruin. That was extras. And so we will sell our stuff here. And then we will get it repaired. Oh, I'm sorry, what is that? I was trying to... I think she gave us some mixed bait. Or was going to say she had some available. Um, so we'll repair all. All right. Now let's look at the Encyclopedia of Fish. Five to fifty meters in the Stellar Basin, day or night. So we will undock. Switch over to the crab pot. I think right uh, there is not a good spot. All right, how about here? Five to 50 meters. Mouth of the deep, overboard. Maybe we can catch that spiny lobster. All right. Now we will, oh, it's on cooldown. All right, I guess we won't. I guess we won't. Let's go over this away <laughs> and 
and we will engage this one more time. over the abyss here and do some fishing. These fish don't look very exciting to be honest with you. Maybe I want to catch a magical one. Calcified snailfish waiting in dormancy for its moment to arrive. I think we already caught one of those actually. Mm. Anything else over here that's any good? I don't think we can fit another one into our ship. Oh, I think I did want to go right here and do a little dredging. A pair of opal earrings. fish out of the deal. Mm. Prepared our trawl net, which we're not going to need anymore, I don't think. Let me, uh, let me look at the encyclopedia of fish. Fishing for that with a pot. Stellar Basin Rod, so I do need an aberrated loose jaw. And I do need an aberrated Aurora Jellyfish. And the rest of the stuff is Gale Cliffs, Rod, or Trawl. Alright. Well, let's go find that loose jaw then. I want to say, I think it's back over this way. It's not it. That's not it. That's probably a shark. it. Not it. How about over here? Nope. Loose jaw, loose jaw. My kingdom for loose jaw. Where did the loose jaw go? Would be nice maybe if you could have kept track of where they were, you know what I mean? So you don't have to rely on your memory. I've caught so many fish, quite honestly, I can't remember where they all come from.
Oh, hey, there he is. Spiny Lobster. All right, picked it up. do all right so we just need an aberrated loose shell that's it and an aurora jellyfish which we're only going to catch at night um by trawling Is that the right thing to catch that? I think it needs a coastal. <clears throat> it does need a coastal. All right, let's go back here really quickly as I crash into that thing going full speed. And we are going to uh, sell the silt filtering trawl net and install the improved trawl net. And let's go look for that loose jaw really quickly, and we will lower our trawl net, and maybe we will catch the aberrated or jellyfish, thereby saving me a lot of time. I think the loose jaw might be right over here somewhere. It's another shark. That's an angler fish. Is it here? No. No. Nothing good in our net. We'll just sell everything. Mm. And we'll rest for a little bit and then we'll go right back out because we've got a. It's the only way we're going to catch this thing is trawling at night. There it is. Perihelion jellyfish. Wow, that is quite the name. Oh, where's the loose jaw? I just drove in a circle. I don't even know where I am. Yeah, I think we need to go to the east. Here we are. There it is. 
A perished loose jaw, a few ragged scraps of skin hang like cobwebs from its fins. Its exposed muscles are riddled with small white worms. Yikes. Alright, well you know what we're going to do? We're going to teleport. Boom. And then we're going to go in here really quickly and sell these fish. Before we go insane. And the mayor's going to scold us. Alright, let's take a nap. Okay, now we'll sell the fish. Alright, fish are sold. Let's uh, get our stuff repaired. We will check. She doesn't sell any of the good stuff. Alright, time to undock. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I am not drunk, I promise. All right, let's go turn this in. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. <coughs> and we got an achievement for relinquishing the necklace. I didn't know there was an option to not relinquish it. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Alright, as he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back into your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. And we've got a skill called Atrophy, where we can harvest a whole school of fish at once. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Atrophy. This phase instantly calls the closest shoal of fish, readying them for swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need not be close to your victims. But the population is unlikely to recover from such a vile trauma, use it sparingly. Hmm. Are there other powers? No, we're going to leave. Anything else? Boom. Alright, look at my storage real quick, and we'll get... All this trash out of here. And we're going to need all that because we need to repair our ship because I can't drive. And we'll come back over there in just a second. All right, to the trader. All right, we got a fair amount of money now. I'm just going to double check to make sure I have the right nut on for now. As we caught a couple of mackerels, so we'll sell them. Let's look at the encyclopedia. Well, most of the fish left in the Devil's Spine. We still got a catfish 
to catch in the twisted strand. So it's at night. But I want to say I had a bunch of them down at the Gale Cliffs. Wreckfish, two variations. Daytime with a rod. And then oceanic aberration of a sturgeon, an oceanic manta ray, and an aberration at night. Aberration of the conger eel. We're just going to have to go back to the gale cliffs to catch a bunch of fish at some point. So, um, let's see. We caught everything in the cellar basin. Twisted strand. We got to go there and catch catfish at night. So why don't we do that? Did I repair my ship? Now I did. And what we might do is we might use some of this bait uh, to catch some of these outstanding fish. I wish it told you how fast you were going when you, when you hit that thing. I mean, if we go 117 normally, you know what I'm saying? How fast are we going when I hit the speed boost? that stuff. Right now we will put the mouth of the deep into storage and we will save this hardy crab pot if we need to mark a location. Uh, let's see if there's any kind of stuff for sale that we need. Eventually we're going to put on this tempered fishnet. I might as well buy just one thing of explosives just in case. Twisted strand rod or trawl at night for a catfish. I want to say when we caught one, we were over to this side. And I will just have to look for it. That is not a catfish. Ooh, look at this. Something going on over here at the campfire at night. What is going on here? The fire is lit. You undock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over the campfire muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. The old mayor. Did you, did you throw it back? What? The book. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. 
Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book. But something, something cloaked in fog followed it out right through the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath. That we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried. As the fog rolled ashore, we thought, surely it can still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson, the book covered by her blood. I don't have to say you're not making any sense because I know what book he is talking about. The book held by the collector. Throw it back! The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper, she saw. She knows where it came from, where it, where it needs to go. What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all that ruinous day. Ask her, beg her, tell her I... He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. <coughs> what do you know about the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? All right, I don't, I don't need to know more about the book. We're just going to leave. And by leave, we're going to take a nap. All right, now we'll leave. We gotta, we still got to find a cap. God bless America. Oh, my God. All right, I guess we're not going to leave. We're just going to go back to the, to the uh, platform, try to fix our ship, because I keep crashing into stuff. Look at that. It's all shattered. I don't want to catch anything with it looking like that. Maybe we'll just troll it up by accident in our uh, trawl net or something. Yeah, that doesn't look good. I wonder if it's worse because I'm panicked. Yeah, that was expensive repairs right there. All right. Let's undock. And I'm just going to go right out here into the water. And I am going to use some of the bait. And we got an achievement for that. Mixed results. Oh, we got a trophy. All right, trophy gray mullet, 99.8 centimeters. And a gar. And another gar. And a trophy long fin eel, uh, which was 1.49 meters long. All right, so we didn't catch what we wanted to catch, but we caught some trophy fish. And we also have a couple of mullets in the net, so we will just sell all. All right. And we will just go. Let me look at one thing really quickly. I don't have the ability right now to catch any oceanic fish. So maybe we should mount that do everything rod. 
Let's see what it can do for us. This rod right here, the versatile rod. <coughs> Coastal shallow mangrove volcanic. And this thing is coastal shallow mangrove volcanic. So it'll take the place of this and save one space, I guess. And we've got an oceanic rod right here. Yeah, let's just leave it. I don't I don't see the need to spend the money right now. We'll just get away from this a little bit. How about right here? All right, throw the bait overboard. And we caught a, one of those. And we caught an eel, and that's it. All right, let's do it again. And another one. All right, I'm never going to catch that one. All right, there was a catfish, <clears throat> but we don't need that. We need an aberrated catfish. All right, one more time. Another gar or whatever that thing is. All right. Caught a trophy sergeant fish, 93.50 centimeters long. Oh, whoops. Here's another trophy fish. All right. A trophy tarpon, 1.58 meters long. So that's what the bait is really good at getting. Trophy fish or fish that you might need if you were, you know, just have a couple left to catch in your encyclopedia. Mm. Here in the fish market, almost 400 bucks a fish. We will move this a little out of the way. get her to repair and then uh, I guess we'll buy a couple more things of bait here let me check my encyclopedia one more time rod or trawl at night twisted strand that's where we are so let's go find some catfish. Or maybe you just go out here and throw some more bait overboard and catch one that way. Uh, or not. All right, trophy gray mullet. Another gar and another long finial. Nope. Let me turn on my lights.
All right, I'm really going nuts now. I'm just trying to get back to the platform. All right, that took me a while to calm down from. Cell. All right, we'll give it one more go here tonight, and if I can't catch it, then we'll we'll have to uh, come back later or something. Oh, is that, the is that a shrine? Was there a shrine here? Did we already take care of it? No. That's for when we're going crazy. Let me try one more time with the bait here. What was that? Oh, it's hard to fish. Oh my God. All right, we got one. A Nightwing Catfish. Hooked barbels seek prey out in the twisting mangroves. A once sluggish fish given haste upon crimson fins. How creepy. All right, one more time, so I think we need one more. Trophy. Uh oh. All right. Um, let me actually throw a couple of fish overboard. So we can keep fishing here. Trophy fish. All right, Cray Muller, 96.2 centimeters long. Let's see what's in our net. Nothing exciting. Well, 600 bucks, that's not too bad. Research part, we'll take it, and we'll have a repair. Okay, one more, and we'll have that large trawl net unlocked. All right, there's the Nightwing Catfish. Just 
want to make sure we got everything over here. <clears throat> Gale Cliffs, yeah, we definitely got to go back to the Gale Cliffs at some point and just do an absolute ton of fishing. Oh, we got some stuff over the marrows too. An aberrated shark, an aberrated swordfish, or sailfish, an aberrated whatever that thing is, flounder. A couple versions of that. Aberrated eel, a couple versions of that. Aberrated uh, cod, I guess. Boy, I really didn't do a whole lot of the correct fishing. Abyssal, that's the coelacanth. I have no idea where that is. And that may be the other fish we're looking for. Mangrove, that's probably around here somewhere. Oceanic fish, haven't caught that. Haven't caught that, haven't caught that at all fish. Yeah, don't even know what that one is. Blackfin tuna, and it has an aberration we haven't caught. Another oceanic fish, maybe a Hmm. These crabs over by the Devil's Spine, Devil's Spine, Devil's Spine. Alright, so we're good over here then. So why don't we take a nap and we will head east when the sun comes up. Let me look at the map. All right. <clears throat> I'm guessing that we will find another uh, hooded figure somewhere and have to get him some fish and another shrine. Maybe he's straight ahead of us is something. What is this? Ooh, we're looking for this. Because we get buzzed by a whale. Rat tail! And another rat tail. And another rat tail. Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're going to drop our pot here to mark the location of the rat tail. Oh, I think I see a, a hooded dude over there. This looks like a destroyed temple or something. Here he is, a hooded figure. You approach a hooded figure, they are standing expectantly, vermilion red robes blowing in the wind. Fishermen, serve. The voice from the hood cuts through the humid air. Deliver the vessel. The hooded figure produces an old paper scroll. They point to a shape on it, a cusk eel. Well, I definitely don't have a cusk eel. So, oh, what's, what's this right here? Not a cusk eel. We caught a skate of some sort. Alright, well, we know where that skate is. But I'm looking for like a sea cucumber or something. Uh, nope, it's not going to be there. Oh, is this a bottle? Alright. How about this? 
I need that, but I, I'm going to have to come back for it. Some junk there we can dredge later. Oh, another fish we need. Another bottle. And we found the pontoon. All right, into the fish market. We will sell everything. Go to the shipyard and repair. Pick a couple of those up. I think we're going to take this out and replace it. Um, we're going to uninstall it and put it in our storage. And then we will buy this one. And install that. All right. So we have to catch a cusk eel. And we're still looking for some other fish. So let's go into our encyclopedia. Cusk eel, devil spine, rod or trawl at night. So we just installed a trawl net. We will undock. We will put the trawl net out. And we'll just drive back over here. Oh, here's the cusk eel. All right, we caught a couple of those. Um, let me look at the map. I think it's on that little island there. Not the little dot island, but the one right ahead of us here. I'm just gonna go try and drop this off. So we can get the next fish. I don't want to go crazy though. All right, deliver, deliver the vessel. That thing's terrifying. Get away from me, water scroll, water spout thingy. All right, there it is. Figure draws a ceremonial knife from their robe and slices into the fish, cutting out the heart. They place it in a stand in front of them. Bring down the sky. Another shape on a scroll. That looks like a sailfish. So we know where sailfish are. They're not anywhere near here. So I'm going to manifest out of here to save myself. I know that doesn't sound normal. Um... But we're going to just dock here and rest. And there's a sailfish very near here. We will go catch him. After we go fix our boat. Or maybe we won't. Uh, I want to say I think he's right down around the corner here. Sailfish. Hello. All right, there is that fish he was looking for. So we're just gonna head back that way. I think there was another one right there. Here's another one right here if we need more. Do we even have room for more? I think we do. Maybe we'll catch the average one. 
All right, no such luck. I think he's right over here. Fish are practically jumping into our net right now. Bring down the sky. All right, here is the sailfish. The ceremonial knife comes out again and the large heart is extracted. It's placed on the stand beside the first. Raise the deep. The figure points to a shape on the last scroll. This one is a frilled shark. And I feel very confident it's right around here like we saw one earlier. So I think it's right over here. So we'll catch the frilled shark. We'll bring it back and then we will get a book. All right, there's the frilled shark. That one was pretty simple. And now we gotta find the shrine. Oh, serpentine mackerel. I'm gonna have to look at that one before we get rid of it. Raise the deep. All right, here's the frilled shark. They drag the shark's body around to find the right angle before plunging the knife in and pulling out the heart. They place it in a stand beside the others. Without looking at you, they take a book from inside their robe and throw it in the sand at your feet. The figure kneels before the fish hearts and becomes still. You leave before they decide they need any more hearts. All right, so what book did we get? Nautical engineering. All right, well, that's good. See you later, red thing guy. We'll catch. Oh, we already have one of those. Never mind. I want to say I thought there was the frilled shark, maybe it was one I thought I wanted to catch earlier and did not because we didn't really have room. Trophy fish. All right, trophy snake mackerel. Another fish into the net? Good grief. I'm honestly not panicking. Honest. Alright, here we are. Let's see what we caught in our net. A serpentine mackerel. It lashes out with its teeth, its tail. A hissing rises from its mouth and then from the water all around you. And we also caught a lumpy mackerel. I think we've caught one before. A writhing mass of lumps twisting and pulling their way under the scales of their vessel. How long could it have lived like this? So we will sell these. All right, made some good money there. We will relocate our bait back over there. We'll relocate our explosives down there and we'll get the ship fixed. And then we will just checking. Do we have any research parts now? All right, so we're gonna take a nap and call the episode to a close. When we come back, we will obviously sail around to finish reading this book. Got a message to read and some fish to catch. And then we'll decide what we're going to do as far as the ending of this game goes. I hope you join me. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. I will see you on the next episode of Dredge. I hope you join me. It's been a lot of fun. All right, we'll hit the save.